Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to loop the screen. Basically meaning, hey, if you have a sprite that goes on the side of the screen, he's going to automatically come back on the other side. So, I'm going to show you that by doing a little game. So, it's called Up in the Clouds. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. So, I'm not going to go into an like, in-depth tutorial of the game, because I'm just going to show you how to loop the screen. So, bear with me, I'm just kind of making an airplane for the player. I'm not an artist. <clears throat> so, bear with me here. So what I'm doing here is creating the propeller, right? <clears throat> and I do this so he can kind of, you know, have a little animation. And we need a cloud. This is going to be plain. And we need a background. Looks pretty good to me. <clears throat> so, here's the thing. <clears throat> this airplane of ours is going to move across the screen, right? And when he moves across the screen, if he hits this side, he's going to come back on the left, right? So, to control this guy, we're going to do up key. We're going to do down key. And... We're going to turn right, and we're going to turn left. So you go like this. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize I was in the cloud. Now this game's gonna go all the way. It's gonna keep running all the way until we hit this glass, because you don't want to hit, we crash, right? So then we're gonna have the score variable. Now this is also gonna apply to the speed, because what happens is as he's moving, he's always gonna go two plus his current score. Now obviously at the beginning of the game you don't have any scores, so, right? So he's gonna keep moving, right? Now here's where this. He's just going to get stuck on that side of the screen, right? So here's where we're going to fix that. Now, of course, I want my little propeller going. So, let's have him... Oh, stop this first. And let's say he wants to start right there. So I'm going to put him here. Now, if he happens to have a greater X position than 240, only because this scratch screen has 240. You can actually look for it. So if I put them here, it's about 235. That's close to 240. So I can even do 235. I want. So if I say that his X position is bigger than 235, right? Because as we go this way, we get bigger and bigger on the X axis. You should know that. So here's his propeller spinning. Here's he's moving. Where's his wheel? Anyway, so he's moving, 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 moving. Now he gets stuck, right? So if his X position is bigger than 235, we're about 246 right there. So I can technically write 240. <clears throat> what I want to do is set his new X to be minus because minus is on the left for X to even negative 240 or whatever. I could do negative 215 if I want to do that. Same thing. That would look kind of weird. It's coming across the screen. So, <clears throat> watch. Da -da 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 -da. Here's my magical airplane. And as he crosses, he comes back. And that'll keep happening until he hits the green. <clears throat> now, the only thing different, if you just wanted to finish this game with me, 
it's just making this uh, cloud. You just tell him to go to the left hand, the, the right hand side of the screen. It's just gonna move towards the left hand side of the screen. So you don't want the cloud always in the same position. We're not doing clones for this. So you get about negative 106 maybe, depending on your grass height, uh, to 140, which should be fine. And then you're just gonna set his size to be kind of small because he came in a little bit big. And until the game is over, right? So you can do even a forever loop if you really truly want it. It's just gonna go in the minus one will go left, right? Because we know that's negative. Then the moment he, if he ever happens to miss the plane, like the plane didn't get him, so if he touches the edge, you're gonna want to throw him back, which we know we can do with that set X block. So the same thing here. So you kind of learn it twice. So you set X to 200 as he comes on the left to come back on the right. Then you kind of probably want him to just, uh, if he touches the plane, you want to go to a new place. So if he's touching the plane, you're going to want him to do this, right? And then just obviously change the score, otherwise that would have been a waste of time to get a cloud. <clears throat> so you're playing here. You go, ooh, he's going to go faster. So you already sped up. He's going to go faster. And, wow. But the point in this video was the loop. So you see how he is constantly coming across here, coming back. Now, if you go up, that doesn't make sense because we didn't do up. We did x-axis. You'd have to program a y-axis, but that's the basics. And if I crash, it's over. Thanks for watching.